Thank you, guys. Let's check out the second half highlights presented by Avera Orthopedics. South Coast State led 21-7 at halftime. Here's Davis in the third quarter getting going again. He will cap this off with a touchdown run. And you see the room that he had to maneuver today. Yeah, a lot of big holes that he was able to run through. And he's eight or nine yards when he would have his first contact. And then when someone would meet him early, he made him pay for it. 28-7, Jax, at the end of three quarters. Tucker Large. This play was called dead. It might have been the only turnover of the game had they let it stand, but this was the result after they said it was an inadvertent whistle. They punted it over, and Large takes off. He's so exciting. And you and I just hold our breath because he just, it, he will not fair catch, but that's why, because he's, he's like an instant video game. Isaiah Davis again catching the ball as well. He has put a lot of emphasis on that this season to be a well-rounded back and his third touchdown of the game made it 35-7. This was that drive, I believe, early on in the game where the Jacks, well, this was at the end of the ball game, but the pass interference penalty, but Jacks, I, they at least avoided some of the personal fouls that had racked up in those first three games. They did, and it, you know, there was a couple uh, pass interference calls that gave UND some momentum to at least complete some drives, but every time you, SDSU had an answer. The electric Angel Johnson came in, had two carries. One of them went for a 50-yard touchdown. As they got to the number three back, Amar Johnson did his job as well, part of those 266 rushing yards for the Jackrabbits. And Isaiah Davis, you can, as he said, we've got three guaranteed home games left. And he is all prepared to play this season and go to the next level. And he wants to put on a show every time he comes out here. Well, and he also feels like we have a great chance to defend our national championship. And, and we need fans to be here to be part of that. I, you look at what they did, and not many people, they're just going to say you, SDSU beat a team they were supposed to. They, they beat them badly. And, and you look at the stats. I mean, both teams ran 59 plays. UND ran 59 plays for 234 yards, whereas SDSU ran it for 433 yards. They were good offensively and equally good defensively. Time of possession almost equal, which is unheard of, but as you said, the Jacks uh, took advantage of the time they had with the football and they went at 42 to 21. So